creating new markers and missions with CCDS. We'll be using a new scene in this tutorial. Let's create a new scene to get started. Our scene doesn't include any managers yet, creating the CCDS manager first, and then we can create other managers. CCDS will guide us about the scene setup. First, we need to set spawn position, simply selecting the spawn point and placing it correctly in the scene. Even at this point, this scene is playable and can be added to the game without any markers and missions, but we're going to use them in this tutorial. CCDS already tells us that we don't have any markers, missions, and mission start positions in the scene yet. Selecting the Marker Manager to create a new marker. Simply clicking the Create a New Marker button will pop up a new window that we can put a name on the new marker. We're going to use Trailblazer Mission on this marker. Now, we can place the marker in the scene. We can change the visual of the marker in UI text. We must have a new mission to connect to this marker. Markers have connection to the missions. We can create a new mission directly from the Mission Manager or selecting the Marker Manager. Marker Manager already informs us about the missing mission for this marker, creating a Trailblazer mission for this marker. Mission settings can be edited directly from the mission itself. We're going to use default settings for now. Now, we can place the Trailblazer items in the scene. Each item has a sound effect and time bonus. They will add one second to the time counter by default. Perfect. Now we have one marker, one mission connected to this marker, but we ain't done yet. Managers have to know the mission start position. We can create a new mission start position by selecting its manager or selecting by marker manager. Placing the mission start position correctly in the scene, make sure it has been selected in the mission object. Otherwise, player won't be teleported to this mission start position. Now, we have cleared all red warning in the scene view. Checking the marker manager, everything seems to be looking good. Let's test it. Markers are only visible and active if player is not on a mission. Let's interact with it. Player has been teleported to the spawn position, and corresponding mission has been started. As you can see, workflow is very simple. Once the player interacts with the marker, connected mission will be initialized, and player vehicle will be transported to the mission start position. Markers, missions, and mission start positions have been managed by their managers individually. Let's create other mission types quickly. Setup of the checkpoint and trailblazer missions are similar. Markers are just a trigger colliders. Once the player vehicle triggers it, managers will be used to start the mission. Let's create race and pursuit mission types. These missions are not similar to checkpoint and trailblazer missions. Race missions require AI racers parented to the mission. Once we create the race mission, editor will guide us about the mission setup. First, we need to create and place AI racers in the scene. We're going to use one AI racer for now. AI racers can be replaced with any other RCCP vehicles. A new tutorial video about changing the AI racers and pursuit vehicles will be released soon. Race mission needs a finisher. Creating and placing the finisher. Finisher is just a trigger collider. Once a racer interacts with it, race will end.
AI vehicles require a navigation mesh. Our scene doesn't elude it yet. Let's create a new navigation mesh for our scene. Create a new navigation mesh from window, AI navigation. This will pop up a new window, which we can bake a navigation mesh. Creating the bake button, we'll bake it. Make sure all not moving objects have been selected as static. But we can't see it in the scene. To check that, open the navigation panel in the scene view end, enable the show navigation mesh option. Blue areas are drivable areas. We can get different results by playing with bake settings. AI vehicles require also a waypoint path. We can clearly see CCDS is informing us about it, simply clicking the Create a New Waypoint Path button. Hold left shift and click left mouse button to create and place new waypoints in the scene. Setup of the race mission is done. Let's create a new mission start position for this mission and test it. As I mentioned before, missions are using default resources of the project. You can change any of them. You can make long and challenging routes when you had time. Seems like the mission is working pretty good. Let's create the final mission type, which is the pursuit. Race and pursuit missions are similar, creating a new marker for the pursuit mission and placing it in the scene. Creating a new mission for this marker Placing the pursuit vehicle in the scene. Our scene includes a baked navigation mesh. We don't have to create it again. All we have to do is just creating a new waypoint path for this pursuit vehicle. Let's create a mission start position and test it. Now, we have all mission types in this prototype scene. Of course, the missions are too easy to complete now, but you can make it more difficult. System is modular, therefore, you can start any mission from specific markers. I've tried to make the project more modular and avoid hard coding. You can have your own mission items, markers, mission settings, and vehicles. I don't want you to be restricted with using the demo assets. Your goal should be reskin the game with your own content and release. Of course, you can use any demo assets in your project, but the road to success is difficult. Thank you for watching.